closely with me in my NACWI experience over the last three years. I came from a medical background, actually. Started out as a medical technologist. Um, corporate America, always in a private or hospital laboratory. Um, not enjoying it that much, to be honest. There's a lot of stress with corporations and their rules and regulations. What I did enjoy about it was pulling together a team and making that team function like a well-oiled machine so that when uh, lab directors or hospital administrators or doctors called the lab, they knew they were gonna get exactly what they needed as quickly as they could get it. I loved pulling a team together and watching it morph into what it needed to be. I loved uh, the details, the organizing. Diane's always teasing me. She lives her life on Word documents. I live my life in Excel files and everything needs to be orderly and sortable. We must sort this. And that was the way I sort of ran my life. I did dibble in some entrepreneur endeavors, uh, Mary Kay Cosmetics, Amway products, you know, and at the time thought, there is no way on God's green earth I could do this. And I didn't want to do this. I don't want to do this at all. So I found myself greatly surprised um, after the death of my first husband that I wanted to go back to school. I went back to, I remarried pretty quickly. Um, went back to school, got a counseling degree, and my, one of my first experiences in counseling was in a private practice office, a biblical counseling office. So I left there thinking, oh, this is it. This is what I want everything to look like from that point forward. So I found myself opening up my own private practice in 2007 and not having a clue what to do with it once it got opened. So honestly, that's what led me to Diane. Um, I enjoyed it. I always, from the day I opened the doors, I had counselors who wanted to work with me. So I never felt alone. I totally understand that that's how Diane started NACWI. I don't want to do this. I want to do this, but I don't want to do this alone. And I was never alone. But the people who worked with me weren't so concerned with the running of the business. They just wanted to counsel people the way that God had called them to, as you can imagine. So honestly, we had a uh, personnel crisis, a security crisis in our office. Uh, we almost had to get uh, legal help to resolve that crisis, and it rocked me, shook, shook my world to the core. Uh, at that time, I'd really been putting money into the business and not getting anything out of it in the first place. Um, and my husband, very wisely, Fred, came to me and said, what do you want to do? Now that this has happened, um, do you want to shut this place down? Do you want to sell it? Do you want to see what we can do and make it grow? How do you want, what do you want it to look like in the future? We talked about it for a few minutes. We prayed about it for about 20 minutes. And 20 minutes later, I was running down the hall after him saying, we can't shut this down. I'll just turn right around and recreate it if that is the case. And so we, we need to work, work towards moving forward, growing. I can't tell you, many of the NACWI members can't tell you how they found NACWI, how they found Diane. But I do know that somehow I eventually stumbled upon the Inspired Cafe call the first Tuesday of the month and listened in and thought, these are things I don't know how to implement on my own. I had one of my counselors listen in the next month and we both sat there shaking our head with one another like, this is good stuff. We've got to implement some of these ideas. I had a different counselor come in the next month and listen to another cafe webinar. And the next thing I knew, I won a 90 day program uh, where you got an email every day for 90 days on how to grow your business. And on day 21, I thought, oh my word, I mean, I don't know. I never thought of these things. I just thought if you build it, they will come, right? I opened the door, where is everybody? Um, so I called, I must have Facebook messaged Diane and said, how do we talk voice to voice, face to face? This is very imperative. And she connected with me and I, uh, hook, line, and sinker. I must have joined NACWI right away. I don't remember. I do remember having her come all the way to our town and sit in my offices and had my husband Fred sit there with us. And I remember him asking her terribly difficult questions that she just answered. Vulnerable, open, honest. He asked her how much money she made. She told him. 
he asked her how much she had spent on coaching the last year, and she told him, I picked myself up off the floor, thinking, well, this is, that's it, we're done now, she's not going anywhere, and as soon as she left, he said, you need to hire her, you need to do what she knows you to do, let's see what happens, and we did. The rest is history. Within the first, less than a year, I wish I had kept better records, but less than a year, within the first year that we worked together, we did 2.4 times the business that we had done the year before. And every year after that, I wish I could say we were at 2.4 every single year, can you imagine? <laughs> Let's grow exponentially. <laughs> we haven't done that, but we have grown every year. Um, to be out of the red, and into the black in just a short few months was a shock to me. I guess I didn't think it was possible. So I appreciate what Diane has done. I appreciate the way she's helped me to grow. There are often times when I had a VIP day that I would share her for 30 minutes with one of my counselors or with someone that was working on my team and their lives changed in 30 minutes. So uh, the direction that they see themselves going today is a direct result sometimes of that 30 minutes that we spent together. So I. Suffice it to say, I love NACWI as a non-member. I love NACWI as a member and will probably be a lifetime member as will Diane. I love uh, coaching with Diane. I needed, um, as you can imagine, a more sanguine personality in my life. At that time, I'm very choleric, very melancholy. This is about as excited as I get. This is me excited. I'm really excited. But it doesn't come across the same way that it does with the pom-poms and the boa feathers and things like that. And I needed that. I needed someone to take me out of my uncomfort zone and show me that life could be exciting and that it was okay to stumble all over yourself and get up and keep going. And so I love the fact that this year's conference is focused on your legacy and your story. Because my story has changed by leaps and bounds. Um, who we were at that counseling office in 2011 and 12 is totally different than who we are today, and I mean that in a good way. I love it because I couldn't have taken up this position as the new president of NACWI if I hadn't experienced NACWI, or especially if I hadn't worked with Diane. I'm not sure if she fully gets it. I am her legacy. Three years ago, if someone had said, you should do this, I would have laughed and not even considered. I wouldn't even allow myself to pray to God and ask if this is what he was asking me to do. It would have been no way, no way. So I am her legacy. I can pick up the mantle that she hands me today and run with it, hit the floor running, which is what we're getting ready to do, without any concern because she's trained us all so well and she's birthed the baby and grown the baby so well. So I'm looking forward to where we're going and who I will become over the next years in this sisterhood and in this collaboration as well.